50 days. That's it. That's all that's left. Between now and Election Day, everyone, you get the polls neck and neck. Hillary Clinton's huge convention bump, so far, that's pretty much evaporated. And with just a week to go before the first debate, she's got the money, but Donald Trump has the momentum. But does he finally have his party support? RNC chair Reince previous a warning of consequences for Republicans not backing their nominee. Watch him here. Those people need to get on board. Um, and, and if they're thinking they're going to run again someday, you know, I think that we're going to evaluate the process of the nomination process, and I don't think it's going to be that easy for them. Now, there's a bit of a warning. Joining me right now, the author of GOP GPS, Evan Siegfried, and Rachel Campos Duffy. She's back with us as well. Evan's one of those people, I should point out, who has not been on board. So what do you think of Reince's threat? I guess you're not going to be running for office anyway. Well, I'm not going to be running for office. Reince Priebus <laughs> is asking that we basically tattoo Trump on our foreheads, and if we don't, we're going to be punished. Well, he's not really asking you to tattoo. I mean, he's just well, saying, look, don't go the out voter, there and say to the so voter, many going bad out and things endorsing about Ryan's Priebus is exactly that. And when you look at v younger voters, especially, how they have these negative associations with Republicans and the stuff that Donald Trump is perpetuating, it's going to scar us not know. only I mean, for this election, but elections to come. You know, she's not doing so well among younger voters herself. Neither of them are, but you're seeing younger voters who say that the 52% the of Republicans, think, or pardon me, millennials believe uh -huh. that Donald Trump is racist. That's a problem when you have Republicans. Yeah, openly but do embracing. you really want Hillary Clinton to win? I would prefer nobody to win. And oh, yeah. we could do I know, none but you can't above. do that, Evan, right? <laughs> so, you know, really deep down in your heart, somewhere, someplace. I mean, Donald Trump is still temperamentally unfit to be president of the United States, period. Yeah, I just don't know how. I mean, you, you have two options, essentially, right, Rachel? I mean, so, you know, for people like Evan who are yeah, saying, all right, a, I mean, it, it just, it surprises me. I want to probe this some more, but I want to get Rachel's thoughts because, you know, if Hillary Clinton's <laughs> going in, she'll have say over who the Supreme Court justices are. She will have That's say right. probably over your taxes going up. Um, you know, the path that we have been on, obviously, with ISIS has not been one that's paid off. So, Rachel, do people like right. Evan, I'll let you tell him, need to come to that realization that it's Trump or Hillary and that's kind of <laughs> it? Well, it is a binary choice, and I think uh, that Reince Priebus is doing his job, which is to unite the party. And he may not need to, you know, throw these threats out anyway, because if you see what happened to Ted Cruz at the convention, he was rebuked not by Reince Priebus, but by the Republican uh, base that was there in that room. They did not like that he um, seemed to not be throwing his support despite being invited to speak at the convention. And his poll numbers have dropped significantly um, since he did that. And look, uh, Reince Priebus is the chairman now. His, his chairmanship will be up soon. Um, if he chooses to, to remain chairman, I think he'll stay there because, um, frankly, he's probably one of the most effective chairmen the Republican Party has. Mm -hmm. seen, he gave us um, a Democratic a nominee. Time. But uh, but I think that, well, that's the, not the, him, the, the though. I mean, that's the party. You, I, uh, yeah, hey, Rachel, exactly. let, me, I mean, let me ask you about this. I sure. think that, he, you know, this is an important point because in some ways, yes, Donald Trump doesn't embolden the sort of traditional conservatism that's gone with the party, but yet uh, he may be changing the party. I just have 20 seconds. He, absolutely. My dad was a Reagan Democrat, um, voted Democrat his whole life until Ronald Reagan, and then you have a whole new generation of conservatives. Um, his kids. And he's emboldened um, the alt right. Is that my kids. something we so, should be proud of? Well, all right. I, I gotta I'm leave it there, guys. I, I, let's the, take a the break. The tent's getting bigger. Quick break, and we're back after this.